This video is for educational purposes. Louisville is the most populous city in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, 6th most populous city in the Southeast, and the 27th most populous city in the United States. By land area, it is the country's 24th largest city, although by population density, it is the 265th most dense city. Louisville is the historical county seat and, since 2003, the nominal seat of Jefferson County, on the Indiana border. Named after King Louis XVI of France, Louisville was founded in 1778 by George Rogers Clark, making it one of the oldest cities west of the Appalachians. With the nearby Falls of the Ohio as the only major obstruction to river traffic between the Upper Ohio River and the Gulf of Mexico, the settlement first grew as a portage site. It was the founding city of the Louisville and Nashville Railroad, which grew into a 6,000-mile system across 13 states. Subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Today, the city is known as the home of boxer Muhammad Ali, the Kentucky Derby, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the University of Louisville and its Cardinals, Louisville Slugger Baseball Bats, and three of Kentucky's six Fortune 500 companies, Humana, Kindred Healthcare, and Young. Bronx. Muhammad Ali International Airport, Louisville's main commercial airport, hosts UPS's worldwide hub. Since 2003, Louisville's borders have been the same as those of Jefferson County, after a city-county merger. The official name of this consolidated city-county government is the Louisville-Jefferson County Metro Government, abbreviated to Louisville Metro. Despite the merger and renaming, the term, Jefferson County, continues to be used in some contexts in reference to Louisville Metro, particularly including the incorporated cities outside the balance which make up Louisville proper. The city's total consolidated population as of the 2020 census was 782,969. However, the balance total of 633,045 excludes other incorporated places and semi-autonomous towns within the county and is the population listed in most sources and national rankings. The Louisville-Jefferson County, KYIN Metropolitan Statistical Area, MSA, includes Louisville-Jefferson County and 12 surrounding counties, 7 in Kentucky and 5 in southern Indiana. As of 2023, the MSA had a population of 1,365,557, the 43rd largest in the nation. The history of Louisville spans hundreds of years, and has been influenced by the area's geography and proximity to the falls of the Ohio River. Since the falls created a barrier to river travel, settlements grew at this portage point. The first European settlement in the vicinity of modern-day Louisville was on Corn Island in 1778 by Colonel George Rogers Clark, credited as the founder of Louisville. Several landmarks in the community are named after him. Two years later, in 1780, the Virginia General Assembly approved the town charter of Louisville. The city was named in honor of King Louis XVI of France, whose soldiers were then aiding Americans in the Revolutionary War. Early residents lived in forts to protect themselves from raids from the local indigenous population, but they moved out by the late 1780s. In 1803, explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark organized their expedition across America in the town of Clarksville, Indiana at the present-day falls of the Ohio opposite Louisville, Kentucky. The city's early growth was influenced by the fact that river boats had to be unloaded and moved downriver before reaching the falls. By 1828, the population had grown to 7,000 and Louisville became an incorporated city. Early Louisville was a major shipping port and enslaved African Americans worked in a variety of associated trades. The city was often a point of escape for fugitive slaves to the north, as Indiana was a free state. During this point in the 1850s, the city was growing and vibrant, but that also came with negativity. It was the center of planning, supplies, recruiting, and transportation for numerous campaigns, especially in the Western theater. Ethnic tensions rose, and on August 6, 1855, known as Bloody Monday, Protestant mobs attacked German and Irish Catholic neighborhoods on Election Day, resulting in 22 deaths and widespread property damage. Then by 1861, the Civil War had broken out. During the Civil War, Louisville was a major stronghold of Union forces, which kept Kentucky firmly in the Union. By the end of the war, the city of Louisville itself had not been attacked, although skirmishes and battles, including the battles of Perryville and Corridon, took place nearby. After Reconstruction, returning Confederate veterans largely took political control of the city, leading to the jibe that Louisville joined the Confederacy after the war was over. The first Kentucky Derby was held on May 17, 1875, at the Louisville Jockey Club track, later renamed Churchill Downs. The Derby was originally shepherded by Meriwether Lewis Clark Jr., 
the grandson of William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition, and grandnephew of the city's founder George Rogers Clark. Horse racing had a strong tradition in Kentucky, whose inner bluegrass region had been a center of breeding high-quality livestock throughout the 19th century. 10,000 spectators watched the first derby, which Aristides won. On March 27, 1890, the city was devastated and its downtown nearly destroyed when what scientists now estimate was an F4 tornado tore through as part of the Middle Mississippi Valley tornado outbreak. It is estimated that between 74 and 120 people were killed and 200 were injured. The damage cost the city $2.5 million, equivalent to $69 million in 2019. Established in 1896, Neighborhood House Louisville was the first settlement movement house in the state. Following the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation, freed slaves settled in a neighborhood of Louisville called Little Africa, nicknamed the Gateway to the South, near the present neighborhood of Parc Duval. The neighborhood was described as a thriving community by the 1920s and declined between the 1940s and 1950s. In 1914, the city of Louisville passed a racially based residential zoning code, following Baltimore, Atlanta, and a handful of cities in the Carolinas. 34, the NAACP challenged the ordinance in two cases. Two weeks after the ordinance enacted, an African American named Arthur Harris moved into a house on a block designated for whites. He was prosecuted and found guilty. The second case was planned to create a test case. William Worley, the president of the local chapter of the NAACP, tendered a purchase offer on a white block from Charles Buchanan, a white real estate agent. Worley also wrote a letter declaring his intention to build a house on that lot and reside there. With the understanding that the Louisville Ordinance made it illegal for him to live there, Worley withheld payment, setting in motion a breach of contract suit by Buchanan. By 1917 the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to hear the case of Buchanan v. Worley. The court struck down the Louisville Residential Segregation Ordinance, ruling that it violated the 14th Amendment's Due Process Clause. In 1917, shortly after the United States' entry into World War I, Louisville was selected as the site of Camp Zachary Taylor. Camp Taylor was one of the country's largest World War I training camps. It was home of the 84th Infantry Division and trained over 150,000 men by the end of war, including F. Scott Fitzgerald. The camp was closed in 1921. Many of the buildings and infrastructure in the Camp Taylor neighborhood of Louisville are there as a result of the training camp. In 1929, Louisville completed the lock and dam in the falls of the Ohio and the city began referring to itself as where Northern Enterprise and Southern Hospitality meet. Between the industrial boom of that year and through the Great Depression, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. See you in the next one.